In this video, I'm going to show you the technique for how to pressure test the lower unit on a 115 Ebner Johnson OMC outboard motor. Before you can pressure test, you have to drain all the oil out of the lower unit. We have the lower unit in our vise now. We've got two tools that I've purchased. Both of these came off of eBay. This is a pressure vacuum tester. The uniqueness of this particular model is that it can actually draw a vacuum or create pressure by shifting this nozzle right here. And we also have this mercury gear lube pump. Uh, the combination of these two tools can be put together to make a pressure tester that can pressure or vacuum test these lower units. The only piece we needed off of this gear loop pump is just this yellow piece right here with the hose because it matches up the same threads to the drain or vent plug on, on all these American-made lower units. There's actually an adapter you can screw on the end of it which will line up to more of your Japanese models. Now we're just merely going to slip the hose off the end of our vacuum tester. Next we'll screw the yellow plastic piece into the vent hole on our lower unit. If your lower unit's leaking excessively, it may be hard to build up pressure with one of these little handheld pumps because it leaks out faster and you can pump it up. We cut this ballast stem off of an inner tube and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and insert it into the end of the hose. And we'll put a clamp on here to get it all sealed up and then we'll be able to use the bicycle pump to attach the end of this and go ahead and pump up the lower unit. Hey, we'll be back in a little over 60 seconds and we're going to pause real quick to see if you need any eternal repair. You might say, eternal repair? What's that? Well, hey, consider your whole life and all your life, have you ever told a lie before? I have and I'm sure you have too. We all have. Also consider, have you ever stolen something, even no matter how small it was? I'm sure you have and I have too. The whole point of where I'm going with this is those two rules, lying and stealing, those are two of the Ten Commandments in the Bible, for which define what sin is. So if you've broken even one of those rules, no matter how small it was, that means you've sinned and we all have. The punishment for sin is going to hell or eternal separation from God. The good news is Jesus Christ came to this earth. He didn't lie. He didn't steal. He didn't do all these crazy stuff that you and I have done. He was totally without sin. He was sacrificed on the cross for my personal sin and yours. He went to the grave. Three days later, he defeated death, and now he sits beside the Father in heaven. The whole point of why he had to take that punishment on the cross was he was taking the punishment for your sin and for my sin. But it can only be accounted to you if through faith you believe in who he was, what he did, you submit to him as your Lord, and you repent. And when you do that, you can have eternal habitation with Jesus and the rest of the saints for eternity in heaven. You might be saying to yourself, hey, I'm a good person. Surely God wouldn't send me to hell for all the nice things I've done for people. But the truth of the matter is the Bible says, by grace you can save through faith, and that not of yourselves, it's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man or woman should boast. There is no amount of good work you can do to earn your righteousness before God. Only faith and trust in what Jesus has done for you on the cross. Hey, let's get back to our video, and I'll have a little more information on the eternal portion of this at the end of the video. And we'll go ahead and pump this thing up slightly. Take it about maybe 10 pounds or so. We're using a combination of dish soap and water, and we're spraying it onto these seals to see if anything is leaking. When we do that, you can see we're actually leaking right around the shifting rod. We don't seem to be leaking around the drive shaft going down from the motor, nor do we seem to be leaking from the rear hub either. While we have this thing taken apart, we're going to go ahead and replace all three seals in this thing so we don't chase the same problem down the road in the future. If you're planning to replace all the seals in the lower unit, I have a video on how to replace all three seals on the Ebenru Johnson 115. This is the thumbnail for the video. Hey, as far as the eternal portion I was talking about, if you're not sure you know who God is, I encourage you to just to pray like this. Say, Lord Jesus, if you were real and you were out there, I pray you would reveal yourself to me in a tangible way. And when you make that prayer, he's going to answer it, and you will know he is real. At the point you know he is real and you're ready to accept him as your Lord and Savior, the gospel is so simple. All you have to do is just pray like this. Say, Lord Jesus, I recognize that you are the Son of God. You took the price for my personal sin on the cross. I surrender my will to your will as Lord of my life. I repent of my sin. Thank you for loving me, forgiving me, and accepting me into your eternal habitation. That's just how simple it is. But the catch is that just saying those words won't do anything for you, only unless the heart believes the words that you're speaking. For the Bible says in Romans 10:9, if you confess with your mouth Jesus Christ is Lord, which I just did, and you believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Salvation only comes through faith and believing. Hey, if you get a chance, visit our website, eternalrepair.com, where we have a lot more information about your walk with Jesus Christ. That's eternalrepair.com. Thanks for watching.